Hello and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch. So as we get into the trading week and as we kick off earnings season, we had the big banks of America showing off their earnings yesterday. JP Morgan Chase and Goldman Sachs basically beat ex exceeded expectations yesterday um, with got well, JP Morgan Chase had uh, released money set aside for loan losses, which enabled them to achieve quite a good status on their earnings. So here are the numbers. It was $3.78 per share versus $3.21 for Chase and uh, $31.4 billion uh, profit versus $29.9 billion estimated as well. So the CEO of JP Morgan said uh, the consumer and wholesale balance sheets remain exceptionally strong as the economic outlook continues to improve, hopefully uh, until the end of the year for America at least. And Goldman Sachs as well, they were propelled by strong performance in investing, investment banking amid a robust IPO market as well. And it posted its second highest revenue ever. And this was behind uh, the first quarter of 2021. So again, very, very strong numbers for Goldman Sachs. Here are the estimates and uh, the actual numbers so it's 15 just over 15 dollars per share versus 10 dollars 24 so that's quite a, a big jump there and 15.39 billion dollars versus 12.17 billion dollars estimated as well so even though shares of goldman sachs actually dropped one percent lower uh, the stock is already up more than 40 percent in 2021 uh, as investors anticipate strong results again like um, jp morgan chase on the economic expected economic recovery that is supposed to happen um, in 2021 so we'll see if that comes into fruition at least so JP Morgan Chase is looking first of all today so <clears throat> excuse me you know we had record highs for JP Morgan Chase we had a little bit of a dip um, at the beginning of June throughout most of June actually now we're picking up a little bit most importantly we are trading just underneath the Ichimoku cloud so we're just waiting to see if we're going to basically get above this section here and then keep pushing to recent highs roughly about the $165 area trading at 155 now so that's a $10 move not really too much in the way of unexpected see there so we'll see if that's going to come into fruition as well looking on the intraday chart now I tested I had these recent um, lows that were technically possibly going to be tested but not at the moment nothing too uh, crazy on the RSI for divergences to keep us keep us guessing let's say it's all about the earnings season at the moment and you know this is very very significant here because if we stay in the Ichimoku cloud engulfed then it could just be a sideways pattern for now until we break out of it so that's actually quite a few more trading sessions ahead if we can move higher in the next few trading sessions then we can have this ten dollar push to uh, the 166 167 region at least so that'll be quite significant as well and just take a look on goldman sachs to start off on the daily chart first of all and with this chart we were looking at this hummingbird action against this top trend line we missed it here we missed it again there so i'm expecting another test if i just expand this slightly i'm expecting possibly another test to the upside in the near term at least uh, we are trading above the ichimoku cloud which is quite significant as well uh, the ichimoku cloud always giving some kind of outlook onto where you know to enter and exit trades again we are trading above on intraday the top border of the Ichimoku cloud coming down slightly but as I said you know 40% gain uh, since the beginning of the year which is quite significant so again we'll see if that comes into fruition as well uh, as I said move to the upside is expected we just need to see the next direction of this uh, band here if we're going to test this Ichimoku cloud top border again at roughly about the 370 area and then move lower um, as I said well you know divergences that's pretty flat at the moment and you know this is going in the same way as what the market is so nothing too much in the way of divergences per se so we'll just keep it on the headlines obviously the next big banks are coming out with their earnings shortly Bank of America Citigroup these kind of um, 
organization. So we'll see if that's going to have any effect on the current stock on the other banks as well if there could be a bit of a sell-off so let's just keep an eye out for that so that's all from the stock watch today thank you very much for joining me if you have any comments or queries as usual please feel free to add them to the post and i'll get back to you as soon as possible have a great training day ahead and bye for now